so fall officially begins in less than two weeks. And if you're thinking about updating your fall wardrobe, don't panic, folks. You do not have to spend a lot to look super cool. Thank goodness. Our next guest, designer and creator Sarah Tarasinski of Redo Kids, is here with ideas to help us revamp what we already own, yes. which is my favorite idea ever. I know, it's so fun. So, so what can we do for this Well, fall? let's jump right in so we can get them all done. This, okay, we're gonna start with how you ombre a t-shirt or how you can kind of do that cool, worn-in bleach splatter on a sweatshirt. Awesome, so and ombre, right by the way. Ombre is where you go from a dark color to, to a, a light, just a color. gradient blend. Yes. It's beautiful. So you yeah. can do it two ways. You can start with your fabric dye and you can paint your fabric dye on the bottom of the shirt and then you just kind of swipe it up and you keep swiping up different levels. Oh. Oh. It's that easy? It's that easy. And then oh, you I would have thought that was minutes. way harder. Well, it's, it, and Sarah was doing this before the show. You just started this today, Yeah, I right? just started that one. So, and it, it takes about 30 minutes to kind of get it all, you know, if you're gonna use the paintbrush, but if you wanna do it this way with the bucket. So basically, you take whatever piece you wanna ombre and you put your fabric dye in there with warm water and then you, I let this sit just the bottom for about 20 minutes uh -huh. and then if you lift it up, you can see and that it soaks it's up. starting to get darker at the bottom and then you wanna go, now that you've done 20 minutes on that piece, you go even further in. And then you can do 10 minutes, so then the very bottom gets darker, darker, and then the second oh, level is just a little lighter. Yeah, that's a good so idea. It's really, Interesting. Yeah, it's really just a dip and a pull out and a dip and a pull out, and then you rinse after about 30 minutes Super of letting clever. it sit. You rinse it. And this is just using a, a red fabric dye yeah, that you, you get from like pink, Target or something? Yeah, you can Target, Walmart, anywhere. They just have the little fabric dye containers. They're a couple bucks. And you can pick yeah. any color you want. and That way it stays soft. But be prepared too. to make a mess. I mean, yeah. you always put you down wanna, protective coating. Yes, right? you should have on an apron and some gloves. I'm going to let you guys do the bleach now. Or do you want to do it? Uh, stand you back. Do it? Bleach? She's not wearing what an apron. Now? She'll let us <laughs> do it. Apron, always wear an apron <laughs> know, and, and gloves. I have all black. Except I don't know. today. Yeah, what okay, thinking. what's the bleach? So basically, this is the bottom of a sweatshirt. You can take the bleach and you can just we'll move our little ombre. So down. there's bleach in the spray bottle. There's bleach in the spray bottle. Okay. And you just kind of start spraying. And how saturated do you want to get the item? It doesn't have to get too saturated. You just, you can kind of tell where it gets wet, where the bleach is going to be. Okay. So it depends on what kind of look you want. I kind of like it, like I do a little darker on the bottom and then it kind of that ombre effect, a little lighter, the second layer. Okay. And then you can take your dropper. You want to take that and just yeah, kind of dribble do. around. I mean, it's kind of that 80s flash dance thing going. Wait, so what's the, what's the dropper? To That's bleach as well. Just straight bleach. Just you haven't straight, diluted this at all. No, so will this look weird if I'm just doing these dots across it? Well, no. I mean, it'll look like dots are coming. Well, are you making a weird pattern? You make whatever pattern you want. You can do them kind of like spread out. Well, I'm not going to wear it. Maybe you can wear it. I'll, I'll I, wear would, it. I would I would totally wear, it. Yeah. wear this. And then are you, you can kidding? Kinda, as you do no, that, I you can kind of do it a little bit more in there. And you can do the ends of the sleeves. I would, but... And again, in the spray bottle, it's straight bleach? Straight bleach, yeah. Straight bleach. Yeah, some people dilute it with water. I do the straight bleach. I find I get a faster... Um, goes a little faster. Yeah, a faster time on So it. that would be the final product yeah. of the so, bleach one. Yeah, so that's just kind Which of a... Which does look super cool. It, yeah. Looks it looks awesome. Like yeah, sure. and you can throw it on with your Levi's and your tennis shoes. And Okay, so next cool. we have taking a men's dress shirt and making it into an off-the-shoulder top or tunic or dress. I'm 5'10", so I can't wear this as a dress, but I know oh, more they're petite so people. Oh, they're so trendy. So it's like a shirt dress. dress. Yes, dress, it's a, right? yeah, a shirt dress or a tunic. You can tie it at the waist. So what you do is you start with your dress shirt right here. We've got our first layer. Okay. And you want to take the scissors, and you're just going to do a cut from about two inches below the neck, straight across. Straight across? Do you want to try it? Yeah, you sure, I'll try it. Straight across. Straight across? Yep, straight across. Two inches below the neck? Yep. Like right here? Yep, perfect. Doesn't it feel so wrong? Oh, it, it feels so you, wrong. Give me a moment. But I kind of love it. But it is, it's fun. So I, I should have done this when I was a kid before church. Oh, I'm oh, sure your parents would have appreciated that. So oh, don't much pan trouble. Just a joke. They um, would have appreciated once that. Once before church, I st stuck a button in my ear, and I got it stuck in my ear. Oh, no. It was bad. On purpose, so you yeah. didn't have to go? Oh, my gosh, no, that's better than your nose. bad story. Um, what me. size shirt is this, by the okay, way? Okay, so this is a men's. It looks kind of big. It is big. And I like to do the bigger shirt, because if you do it too small, you're going to be like, you know, you want it to be flowy. And, and then you can gather it in, yeah, right? Yeah, so what you do is your second layer, we'll pull this white one right here. So it looks super big, but it's not yeah, really it that big. So you take a piece of elastic, put a safety pin on the bottom of it, oop, and then you just measure it around your shoulders so you kind of get the feel okay. of how big you, you want your elastic to be. Yeah. And then I've done a little stitch. I've just folded over the edge. It doesn't have to look perfect. No one's going to see that, right? And okay. then I made a little hole. And you just put it in, put the safety pin in there. And then you just thread it yeah. through. And you yeah. thread it through, and you keep threading it and keep threading it. And then you just, when you get to the end, you tie it, and then it makes your cute little 
Genius. Yeah. Actually, see how and wide that one that's is? That's what I was going to say. Yeah. At first, when I looked at it, I thought this neckline was small, but yeah, now that I see how much it'll stretch yeah, out. Yeah, it's not, because right. you want to be able to gather it and get that look. Oh, and there it is. Yeah, the there it is. Yeah, it's my, my baby girl. And Aww, last but not least, adorable. just about a minute left. Okay. Uh, you've taken some old neckties yes. and cool. installed them down the sides yep. of a pair of old jeans. Yep, so basically what you so do... So when you outgrow your jeans... When you... It you can does. still fit in you them. Know what, and I have on some right now. I don't know if you can see. This is Cute. a tie from the thrift store. I just did it straight down the side. You basically take your scissors and you cut just on the inside. Oh, it also feels so wrong. It Courtney, does. by the way, is a huge fan of these jeans I that have the stripes. Stripes. She had some. They're on last so time. in right now. Well, they look like track pants in some they way. They do, and it actually expands your pants a little. So you just want to cut on each side of this seam. I'll do it pretty quick. So and we we're going to let you right. keep working on that, Sarah, and we will check back in uh, with the finished product. We'll post it on our Facebook page. Perfect. But keep on going. Okay, I'm awesome. Going. Thanks for joining us, Sarah. Thanks, for more guys. information, visit redokids.com or check her out on Saturdays on Instagram TV for more information and fun projects. All right. Very cool ideas. Thanks, I can guys. smell that bleach. I, I know.